Hi! So, today I'll be showing you some data storage stuff. Specifically, we'll be talking about the different kinds of data storages that we have within Resonite. We're going to be talking about the three main types that we have here. We have data model stores, stores, and locals. Now, the difference between the three is that if I write to a data model store, you'll immediately see this value update. So instead of one, if I write zero, immediately you'll see this change to a zero when I write it. Now, not only do I see this change, but anyone who would be in the world with me would also see this change because it's actually changing for everyone by first changing it for me and then synchronizing it to whoever the host is. In this case, it's also me. And then from the host, synchronizing it to everyone else. That's how the data model store works. Next, the stored value, if we try to write this, it'll look no different. It'll still say zero. Now, this is because the stored value actually does not call, like, does not keep updating anything connected to it. But if I pull this out, you'll see it's actually there, the value number two. And if something causes an impulse from it, such as this, the value will also be properly used. So if, for example, we change this two second value now to a five second value to make sure that this delay here actually takes five seconds, the moment I press this, this value will still be two, but this will actually happen after five seconds, not after two seconds. Because this is impulse-based, it actually pulls the new value from here. It's unlike the display, which does not show the correct value unless we either add a continuous update relay or pull out the value again. Another difference between the data model value up here and the stored value is that this value is only visible to us, the person that wrote the value. Anyone else would still see zero or whatever other value they wrote to it before. So this value is actually local to us personally. It is not synchronized over the network. However, it's a value that sticks around so you can write to it and then read it at a later point. So if I, for example, instead of directly using it like this, was to just call it from here, it would still happen after five seconds. Now, the reason why I point this out is because our next value down here, our local value, if we try to write to it, it's still zero. And if we check on it, it is also still zero. If we, however, use it directly, you'll see after three seconds, it will actually pulse. But if we try to use it after the fact, it'll just instantly pulse. The reason being that this value exists only for me after I press this button. And on top of that, not only is it just not synchronized, it only exists for the entire execution flow of this node hierarchy. So once we get to the end of the node, it no longer exists. So if I break this here and we click call, the, node ex the value exists here and immediately is discarded at the end. But if I hook it up, the value exists here, is used here, and then is discarded at the end. Now, obviously, which one you should be using depends on whether you always need access to the value and the value should be synchronized to every person in the session. The value does not need to be synchronized in the session, but you always need access to it or you only need access to the value during that one execution and no one else needs to know what the value is. Those are your three different ways to store data here. And here's a quick way that you can make them. 
you simply go to the right, grab the variable here, open it like this in the context menu, and then you make either a local store or a data model store. Now, there is also globals, but we'll talk about those in a different video. I hope for now that this helps you make your systems better and use variables that are more useful for your specific use case. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you got any suggestions, leave them down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!